Okay, so we're back. I'm going to show you how to mix your um, secondary colors. Um, and then I'm going to show you an easy trick on, actually I'm going to show you an easy trick on how to do all three of these. Um, as you're go as you, well, I'm going to show you two different ways, I should say. I take that back. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. So, um, okay. So the first thing that we're going to, I'm going to mix is I'm going to mix green. So I'm going to take my palette and I know I need to mix yellow green and blue green as well. So I'm actually going to scoop out a little bit of yellow and put in three different spots. Okay. I may run out of room on my palette, but that's totally okay. Um, notice how I'm going back and putting more yellow in my, in my little paint well here. And there's a reason why I'm doing that. Um, yellow is a very light color and um, it tends to, if you use darker colors such as red or blue when you mix with it, those two colors take over the yellow really fast, meaning it's going to go more, more red orange and it's going to go more blue green really fast. If you get a dark color real quick, it is very difficult to lighten that color. So uh, my art teacher always used to say, you can always make a lighter color darker, but you can't make a darker color lighter. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So I'm gonna get my blue brush that I used a minute ago. If you wanna use three brushes, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. If you get paint mixed in there, that is perfectly okay as well. Um, I'll put a little bit of blue in each one. Um, actually, I'm going to put a little more in that first one because I want that one to be my blue-green. I want this one to be my green. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of blue for my yellow-green. Okay? So, I think I'm going to use my, I'm going to set my yellow paint down. I think I'm going to use my blue brush to mix this. Now, one way that you can do that is you do this is you can go ahead and mix your green first, paint your green on there, and then you can take half of that green and move it to a separate paint well and add more blue to it for your blue green, and then the other half you can add more yellow to it for the yellow green. I did all three of mine separate, perfectly okay. Um, if you run out of areas in your paint palette, um, if you have paper plates or styrofoam plates around your house, you can use those to uh, mix paint on. Uh, if you put another lid on, another one on top of it and kind of make like a little flying saucer looking thing, uh, that will actually uh, keep it wet, uh, which is very important for this paint because it dries really fast. Now what I did here uh, is I made this color a little bit, uh, it came out really green, so I technically could have used that for my yellow green. I mean for my regular green, but I decided I wanted to make this my yellow green, so I'm adding more yellow to it. Sometimes when you're just mixing two colors, you can bring a darker color up. If it's super dark, when we get to the purple, that one's a hard one to bring back, uh, bring back up and make it uh, lighter. So um, never in this project add white to make any color lighter. You're just going to add more of the lighter color that you're doing that. So this is my yellow green. So I'm going to go ahead and paint that in my spot here. Now remember what I said. So you can make a lighter color darker. So if you mix your yellow green first, you can actually make that a little darker by adding more blue to it. So I don't have to mix that if I don't want to. I can actually just take a little bit more of that blue and add to this. And it's going to bring that green down a little bit because remember we can make a lighter color darker. So there is my green green. And I'm going to paint that in my spot here. Then I can also take this, I can add more blue to this to make it my blue green. I'm probably going to need a little bit more blue than that, so I'll mix this. So there is my blue green. Now because there's paint all over the edge of my palette here, which is okay. Um, 
I need to make sure it all gets mixed, otherwise it's gonna get it's gonna get on the paper the wrong color and then it's not gonna be correct. So just kind of turn in my paper here so that you can that I can work a little bit. It's hard to work with wet paper. You're gonna end up getting paint all over you. Okay, so there are my three colors uh, for in between blue and yellow. So my next area that I'm gonna go to is I'm gonna go to the orange. Um, I'm going to rinse that brush out or put it in the water, but I also have my yellow here that has no, um, no paint mixed into it. Now in my paint palette, I have a little bit of green. So when I'm scooping this yellow out for the red, I mean to make the orange, I'm not gonna scoop close to that because I don't want that to get in with my orange because it's gonna actually end up making like a brown color. Now the same thing when we were doing the green. Red is a dark color, so a little bit goes a long way. So if I want to mix maybe my yellow green first, I'm gonna put a little bit of red in there. I'm gonna make my lightest color. Now, if you're painting this and you are unsure if you are making the wrong colors, you can request to Zoom me. Uh, we can have a Zoom meeting, or if you uh, want to come up here, if you live close to the school and you want to come by and I can show you, we can do that. Now, tomorrow, uh, which is Friday, uh, March the 12th, uh, I am only going to be here half a day. So, um, if you need to come up here, you need to come before noon. Um, and don't come five minutes before noon because I want to leave at noon. So, um, so come a little bit before that, and I can, I can explain what you're working on. Or if it's uh, after school, I can do a Zoom after school. I just need to know prior to after school that you need to Zoom. So now I've got my yellow orange, and remember to make it orange. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add a little bit more red to it, and trying to get all that paint down in there so it mixes and makes that orange correct. I'm trying to get the paint on my paintbrush mixed and made well. Okay, now I've got my orange, so I'm gonna paint that in here. Sometimes you get paint way up here on the brush and you can just kind of lay it flat and kind of paint and it'll come off. Okay, so I'm almost done with this one. All right, so there's my orange. I'm gonna go back to that and I'm going to add more red to this because now we're making red orange. So I need a little bit more red We don't want it as dark as the regular red, so just keep that in mind when you're mixing. If you need a little bit more red, if it doesn't look like it's gonna be much different than what you already painted, then, uh... okay. So here's my red orange. Got that done. So there's all of my colors for that. Now all I have left are my blue violet, my violet, and my red violet. So I'm going to, um, I'm actually gonna use my red brush here. It already has paint on there. So um, on when I was painting with the yellow and uh, making the green and making the orange, yellow was the lightest color. So in this scenario, when we use red and blue, they're actually equal colors. So I'm going to start, because I'm gonna make the red violet first, so I'm starting out with more red. And I'm gonna add a little bit of blue, okay? I'll mix that up. Now the red that you have is what's called a warm red, so your red violet may look a little brown, and that's just because we're using warm red instead of cool red. Um, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so this has my red color. So move that over here. So we've got our red violet. 
Now, if you're using the same paintbrush to change, to switch colors, you're gonna be cleaning your brush out, uh, which I'm gonna, I have a video on that, on how to clean your brush out really well and how to make sure that you don't get colors mixing and that sort of thing. Sometimes paint gets stuck in our brush and, and we have to clean it out. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more here. So this one was a little bit thin. It's just I didn't have enough paint on my brush, so that's why I'm coming back and painting over it a little bit. Okay, so there is my red violet. Now I'm going to come back to my paint palette. I'm gonna scoop more blue and I'm gonna to add to my color mixed here to make violet. Now the amount of blue and red and that sort of thing is just kind of trial and error. So if you mix the wrong color, just start over. Just don't keep adding paint to that, just start another color, okay? Now this color, I probably added a little bit too much blue to, so I'm gonna add a little bit red a little bit of red to it, maybe not quite that much, because I want to bring it back to purple, or violet, I should say, I shouldn't say purple, because it's actually violet on our color wheel. Okay, so this, that little bit of red brought it back down. It probably looks black on your screen, um, and it is, uh, it might look a little darker, but uh, that's just how it comes out. Now, I, I'll tell you one reason why I don't like using a flat when you're using circles because you have that tip and sometimes that tip gets out of control and my and it goes out of my circle and I don't like that. So that's one reason why I don't like using a round brush for this. They're good in there in the right setting. All right, so I've got my violet almost done. Pulling up some paint here. Okay, so that we are done with. It's a little bit hairy there, but that's okay. So now I'm coming back to my paint palette. I'm gonna add that more blue in there to make it back to blue violet. Could I have used the blue violet a minute ago to paint in there? Yes. You don't have to do that. I just was trying to go in order, try not to confuse y'all. So um, if you did that and you had the blue violet, go ahead and paint it on there. All right, so I got my blue violet and then I'm gonna paint that on here. Your blue violet actually kind of looks like a navy just so, just for reference. Um, Okay, so there is our color wheel. So if you didn't label your colors and write color wheel on it to begin with, you need to make sure each color is labeled correctly. Um, and you need to make sure it says color wheel. You need to have your name on here and your palette number, okay? Um, so that number that's on the back of your uh, palette or on the lid of your palette, that's what you're gonna write here. Um, and then you're gonna snap a picture and you're gonna submit it. And then that's it for this project.